Well, the teams are taking to the field here at the National Stadium. Hibs all in white today. Celtic all in dark green. Goalkeepers Matt Macy all in highlighter pink. Joe Hart all in highlighter yellow. The referees all in black. McGregor plays it down this near side where Johnson is once again lurking. Look to take on McGinn, goes for the byline once again. McGinn stays with him. Johnson into the Hibs penalty area. He'll get the shot away, but just too much on it. Fires it wide of Matt Macy's far post. The shot was rising all the way. First Hans. and foremost, he's got a bit of better communication. Show him the line. Show him the line here. He lets him back inside on his stronger right hand. Right foot there. So Martin Boyle comes across. You know, and they get fortunate that doesn't you know, find its way into the top corner. Makes for McGregor midway inside the Hibs half over on that far side. Thundo. Taylor looking to get the shot away. Left foot effort. It's spilt by Matt Macy. And that's great defensive work there by Paul Hanlon. Matt Macy spilled the first effort, blocked the second one, but it looked as though it was looping back over his head towards the net. And Paul Hanlon. Gets in there to make a vital clearance for Hibbs. Johnson forced to cross field. Stevenson does well. Boyle has it now for Hibbs in the centre circle. Hibbs man taken out. Hibbs continue. Martin Boyle driving forward. That's a great challenge. It's picked up though by Kevin Nisbet for Hibbs. Chipped in. Chance here. Oh, it just ran away from Josh Campbell. From the flick ball in by Kevin Nisbet. That's a lot better from Hibbs. First real opportunity we've had to go and attack Celtic there. Good tackle there from Carter Vickers, but that's much better from Hibbs. Martin Boyle will take. Beat footed. Hanlon climbing at the back post. He's in there. It's, oh, it was over the line. Yes, the assistant referee on the far side raised the flag. Hibbs lead. Paul Hanlon net Martin Boyle's corner. Not did it go word to hit a Celtic defender. It looked over the line before Joel Hart tried to pan the ball back out. Callum Spence, the assistant referee over on the far side, raised the flag, raced off back towards the halfway line. And after 50 minutes, Hibbs have the lead. Yeah, it was clear. Yeah, it's over well over the line. And what a header from Paul Hanlon. Ball comes, he wants it more than anybody. Drives it into the net. Can't do anything. The, the Celtic player on the goal line, and it goes across the line. Hibbs' his first corner kick. And they've made it count. I think it's Juranovic on the bit yes. on the line. He can't keep it out. It's a great downward header as well from Paul Hanlon. That's exactly where you needed to put it. He's he's headed it down into the ground with power time right at the defender. And despite Joe Hart's best efforts, he couldn't keep it out either. And after 50 minutes, the first attempt to go, Hibs have the lead. Who cares? Yep, exactly. Hibs need to watch here. Kyo goes in. Oh, he's equalised straight away. Celtic back on level terms. The ball played long into the area. Kyogo one touch, drills it beyond Matt Macy. Hibbs claiming for offside. The assistant referee on the near side here. Liam Stewart didn't want to know. Juranovic, the corner for Celtic. It's missed by everyone. Rogic picks up. Just outside the 18 yard box. McGregor. Back for Rogic. Ball played in. Macy does well, gets a touch on it, and it was an important one. Rogic just looking to bend it into that top corner there. Doyle Hayes clips it forward quickly. Nisbet's done well, he's inside the area, turns back on his man. Can he get the shot away, Kevin Nisbet? He did, he might have been better to cut it back. Josh Campbell was on the edge of the six yard box. Nisbet brings the save out to Joe Hart. He does really, really well. Gets away from Starville, turns him inside out. He's got to square it, I think. He's got to square it. Uh, Joe Hart was out really quickly there. Stevenson does well. Great ball. Forward for Jamie Murphy. Martin Boyle screaming for it on the far side. Jamie Murphy drives towards the edge of the 18 yard box for Hibbs. Oh, that's a great challenge. And it had to be. Juranovic, it was. And then Paul Hanlon is penalised for his challenge on Leela Labada. Hibs are going to make the change now. And that was a great challenge there from Juranovic on Murphy. He was clear. Ball played forward quickly for Kyogo. 
He lifts it over Matt Macy into the net. Hibbs switch off at the free kick. The Japanese striker once again punishes Hibbs. The Hibbs players complaining to John Beaton. The free kick was taken too quickly, but Celtic everywhere within the rights to do so. The referee allowed it to continue. Celtic the opportunity to push forward three on three here. Chance here for Celtic. That's a great challenge. It breaks again for Rogic. No good stop by Matt Macy. Rogic trying to place that one into the bottom right hand corner as we look at it. Matt Macy down low. Pams it wide for a corner. Flip towards the edge of the Celtic area. Tortoise is up there. It doesn't fall kindly for either Doig or Josh Doig. Hanlon will nod it back to the Celtic penalty area. Newell in the aerial challenge. Drops for Scott Allen. Lifts it in the direction of Paul Hanlon. Nods it over. Chance here. Oh, it's off the post. Hibbs oh. can't convert. That was a chance. It came back off the near post. And it just didn't sit nicely. And the rebound scooped over Joe Hart's crossbar. That was the chance. Oh, I spoke about getting that opportunity. Kevin Nisbet's very unlucky. Yeah, he is. You know, he goes and guides it into that corner there. Oh, and it does, doesn't break the Hibs player there. It's a great ball forward. The chance here, Ryan Portis is at the edge of the penalty area. What can he do for Joe Newell? Oh, what a stop from Joe Hart. Hibs can't get oh, it going. a brilliant stop by Joe Hart. That would probably be that. John Beaton. Blows the full-time whistle, it finishes here at the National Stadium. Hibs 1, Celtic 2.